Hello, welcome to Donna Jewelry Creations and more. I am Donna. Today we are doing a tutorial. It's going to be a quick one because I really couldn't do the video due to an emergency. So I'm going to show you items. I'm going to do one project but show you items I bought to redo my craft space. Today's collaboration is Organization DIYs. The host is DIY with Area. The other host is Lola's Creation, co-host at Home with Gigi, and co-host D9 Design. I'd like to say thank you to all these women for hosting and co-hosting this video. And the link will be listed in my description box below for you to check out everyone's video. So please grab a drink, sit back, relax, and watch how everyone's organizing. Here's a quick way that I'm organizing my fabric. I bought a container from Walmart and I'm taking some scrap cardboard from Amazon boxes that I have and I'm just going to have one already ready to show you. I cut it to size 7 by 6 to fit in my container nicely that way when you wrap it you have room on the top and the bottom and so I'm just going to take my ruler and measure out where it needs to go and cut them seven by six squares so why I'm doing this, I want to take a second and say hello to all my subscribers. I appreciate you all so much. And if you're new here, welcome. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I do... DIYs, upcycling, organization, home decor, bake bakes, jewelry, resin, and more. Anything crafty you will find on my channel. This year is new with jewelry and resin. I'm excited to get into that. And... The next several videos will be some craft videos along with organization and me redoing my craft room completely. I'm going to be on a video of me moving my rooms and that will be next week on the 26th. So in this video I'm showing you how I'm organizing my fabric. Now, due to an emergency, everything's fine, but I had to rush my husband to the hospital last night, so what I did was, everything that I bought to organize with off of Amazon, I took pictures of and showed how to organize with them, which I will be doing in my craft room, and you will see all these items, and I will upload videos on me doing them. I just didn't have the time with and the emergency. We didn't get home to like 4 a.m. this morning from the hospital. Just a lot been going on lately. So I just wanted to share a little bit today with you guys since this collaboration was due and I really didn't have a chance to do it so here I cut a bunch of six by seven pieces of cardboard and all my organization is going to be like on small spaces even though I have a large space but I want things to be able to be compacted 
So here I have some chalk labels I got from Amazon, but you can also get them from the dollar store, but you get a better deal off Amazon because you get a way lot more, a big pack cheap. And I'm just taking a chalk marker and just going to label it. Not new, using nothing special. I'm using free cardboard from Amazon and some labels and a cheap container I got from Walmart for, uh, I think it was like four dollars. So as I was saying, I want to organize, I have room to organize, but I want to organize for small spaces. I want compact organization. So here I'm just wrapping my fabric around my cardboard and then just folding it. Simple, easy, and then it stands up in your container. It's great. It fit all my fabric. You can do this in a drawer, whatever you have. You don't even have to buy a container. For bigger fabrics, just use a bigger cardboard. I love this way because I can see all my fabrics that I own, which I don't have a lot because I'm not in the sewing, but I use them for my DIYs. So here I'm showing you how order your craft paint, organize your craft paint. I bought 12 by paper storage, and you store it in your container. And I also bought this from Amazon and this is how you can display it and I also own a nail polish holder that I have hanging on my wall and this is another way then I bought these die cuts and then you can decorate them for your ribbon or your tags these were great they were less than 20 hours for both and you wrap your ribbon around and this is how you store it in your container and then for Cricut organization I own this card I bought the ribbon holder from Amazon that will hang on my wall. I bought this tool organizer. And then I bought drawer organizers, which I have not done yet. This will all be on my upcoming videos. Desk organizer, just showing how you can hold it. And I bought these great little under the drawer thing. Here's a bonus, Dollar Tree Twine Holder from a Sugar Holder. Thanks for watching, God bless, stay safe, subscribe so you can check out my upcoming videos on organization and redoing my craft room. And check out my other videos, thank you.